Hey Tubes, Redneck Brian here. Okay, uh, doing a little bit more work on the Red Rocket here today. This is the new rear end. This is the one I'm going to end up running. As you can see, it's quite a bit lower. It's approximately 8, inch, eight or 10 inches off the ground right now, which isn't a bad height from going what it was. It's dropped about, about 10 inches. I could actually go a bit lower. I may or may not. Um, all it will require is some more modification on inside here. So, um, just looking at, uh, I'm going to end up having to use these mounting brackets on each side, or mainly on the left side. What I can do is I can drill and use this bracket here on the right side, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to use, end up using the other identical bracket to that one, but it's going to be on the outside on the right hand side, which is the only thing that sucks. Um, that bracket's actually from a uh, from an AYP style tractor. Um, actually, came off this came off this rear end right here. This is at that uh, three or four speed rear end I picked up a while back. Uh, as you can see, there's another bracket on the other side as well. What I'll end up doing is I'll take those, I'll I'll drill and I'll bolt that in, and then I'll weld it as well. So I'm thinking about now is I can lower this. If you can see that bottom bolt hole, I basically bring that bolt hole up to the top one, I'm thinking, and lower it down that much more. But um, this tensioner one has to be replaced with the other one I have. That's the original cross member. It's only being held in by one bolt right on there for now. And it's just basically uh, just sitting over there on the right. So that's pretty much the only only way this is going to work I'm thinking for now and it's actually it's it's actually it's fairly square um, I might take a look at seeing if I can put both of those brackets on the outside and if it will work on each side I don't think it will though because that that would actually center it even better um, but I'm actually basically just working off of what this brackets telling me right here so I don't think I can move it much more to the right or the left because looking back at it, actually I got a bit more tire on the right hand side than I do on the left. Yeah, if you look there, I got a bit more tire on the on the one side. So I still want to do like huge amounts of modifications. I really just want to get it in there and make it work. So I might work on. I'm gonna drop the rear end back out. The tractor's sitting on jack stand still. So I'm going to drop it back out and um, I'm going to try the, both the brackets on the outside and see where it lands because that should actually center it. And then what I can do is the uh, middle bracket there, it does kind of hold the transmission. I'll just uh, drill and re just re-drill the holes. But I'd like to lower this a bit more because if you look right here, my spindle, and this is the original belt it's not going to really work because um, that's basically the top of the pulley right there so it really should go in about another four inches well, about three or four inches down so and if I fuck it up too much it's not a huge huge deal so it is but it isn't so but I can actually remove this entire back half just by removing three bolts on each side and this entire back half will come out and I can give it to my stepdad, he can weld those brackets on for me, or I'll use my welder, and I'll weld them on. So, that's pretty much it. I had to cut this back bar out right here, because the rear, the rear end was hitting it too much. So, But it's just trial and error. I'd like to put it as much where the original was as much as possible. I can move it a little bit back and forth, but um, I'd like to keep it right around where the original rear end was. Just so it looks, so it looks still halfway decent. Uh, when you go to move a rear end forward or back, and you're using the stock fenders, eh, it kind of looks funny. And I kind of want to keep the stock fenders. I want to keep some of the stock look, but just lowered. And at the front end, I already know what I'm doing with that. So it's a, it's going to be a lot more work than just straight up bolting like the Roper was. But uh, I'm up to a challenge. So. And we're supposed to get snow again next week, so I'll have to wait and see. I'd, again, with this, I'd like to make this a roller by, by then, if possible. Also, I can only go in 
I can only really push this up about another. I can go up not much really. I can go up I can go up about four inches or so. Pretty much it. But I'm gonna have to uh, cut channels on each side basically to push the rear end up and in. So um, so stay tuned. I'll see what else I can get done out here tonight. It's starting to get dark so I don't know what else I can get done. Stay tuned. Okay, this is probably gonna be the last update for the night. Uh, I know I didn't really show much on this. It's just a lot of measuring right now and uh, trying to figure out where everything's going. So, I got the rear end in place. I got everything lined up. It is square with the tractor, and I'll show you. Ended up using those brackets right there on each side. Those are the ones I'm going to end up using. I was just looking at the Murray a few minutes ago and it actually has a couple brackets on it as well that will work for something in the future. I am lowering this actually by, uh, I'm going to take about an inch and a half or two inches out of the frame. I figure anything within that, I'm good. So I got the po old uh, pulley back on here. What I did was I straightened it right out, I measured it down, and it's about an inch and a half. So if I take anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches out, it should be perfect and right now it's actually sitting it's actually it's sitting pretty square over top of the axles right now so like right where the old one was it's back a bit further I think because that belt's not really lining up the original stock rear belt or the belt I was using but it's not a huge deal um, as I'm going to be uh, changing out the, the pulleys as well anyways even if I do run what I got on here it's still going to go pretty fast so, but I would like to make it go a bit quicker. Uh, I'd like to beat that for in speed. So that's technically an off-road tractor. This is technically a street tractor. So, I obviously want the uh, the street tractor to go faster than the off-road tractor. So, anyways, um, I figured out what I got to take out. I'm, I might cut it now. I don't know yet. Uh, the weather reports is saying snow still in the fro in the forecast. So. But actually, it looks pretty good. Caught on jumper cables. It is leaning to the back a bit, which I do want. So that means it is lowered. And it's going to lean even more in a couple minutes when I do cut it, or tomorrow when I do cut it. So, and those tires there, for the most part, I'm going to run those. Or if I can get the other set off, I will run them. But I know I can still get MTD rims and tires. They're just they're a little bit on the pricey side. So we'll see about that. And so yeah, I got temporarily bolted in. Nothing's drilled, nothing's permanent. And I'm just going to use those brackets there on the side, on each side, with the three bolts. And also, the thing I was thinking about the MTDs, all MTDs have sloppy steering, but it's not jumping, which is the main thing. It's not jumping in there, so. I just have a pair of vice grips on there holding it, so. As long as it's not jumping, it's not too bad, really. And I can... I can freely turn the wheels left and right without it skipping on the gears. So it, it's not horrible. It's bad, but it's not horrible. So I'm just hoping I'm not doing all this work to the back end and then figure out I can't lower the front end and then I would be pissed. But I would, I'd know for the future on what I have to do. So I'd, I might be doing it backwards, lowering the back end first, but I, it's the first time I've really lowered one. And this is actually the only time I've really had the lower one to actually make the belts line up. So it's actually going to work out pretty good. I've always wanted to lower it and uh, make it more slim, slim line and lower to the ground and make it run, make it run better. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So maybe I might do another part or maybe not. So stay tuned. Okay, it's official. There's no turning back and uh, putting the high low rear end back in. I've just finished cutting the frame. Yeah, I, I decided I'm going to do it tonight, and uh, this is what I've accomplished so far. I've cut actually two inches out of the frame. Here's the piece right here. Yeah, I decided I'm going to cut two inches out for a couple different reasons. Uh, with its full two inches, it's actually going to give me a little bit of room to move the rear end up and down a bit whenever I get it in there, so I can actually get it fine-tuned right where I want it exactly. And I was able to keep the curve right here, which is kind of cool, and part of the frame. And actually, it should actually help give the frame a little bit of support. So, yeah, I uh, 
end up cutting a full two inches. You might be wondering, oh, I don't know where the rear end's gonna go back in. I do, this is my reference point right here, this body line. Right here is a perf perpendicular body line right here. The bracket on the rear end, as long as it's lined up with this on each side, it'll go back in right where it needs to be. So, I wanna try to get the other side cut, and then I'm going to set the uh, tractor back down on it for the night, and hopefully, get it uh, drilled and bolted in tomorrow and then I'm also going to weld it to make it that much stronger then I got to modify the front cross member or basically the front cross member you want to call it on a car it would be the rear the rear transmission cross member but in this case everything goes forward on like a vehicle unless you're working on say a Corvair or VW older VW so anyways and um, there's absolute no turning back now frame has been cut and uh, I don't think I'll have a chance to make another video. So like I said, I'm going to get cut and uh, this is probably going to be, end up getting too dark. So I guess I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always and uh, please subscribe and comment.